I'm back with Anton for the final installment on our bench press tips that we're going to be getting from him. Anton, yeah. tell me a little bit about the grip. Yeah, when you do the training with the bar, there's three different grips you can use. Narrow like this, normal competition grip, and the white one. Because uh, there's a big difference which one of them you're using. If you're using the narrow one, your primary objective is to train your triceps. Right. Yeah, and uh, when you're using normal competition grip, then you're using tricep shoulders and chest to a certain extent. For breaking world records like you do, you use the most powerful yes. grip, which is the medium grip. Yes, because that allows you to use your shoulders, chest, triceps, all of the muscles together. Right, okay, and I feel that. Yeah, then you move out to the wider one, and the wider one you do not use for competition because you cannot move as much weight. Okay. The primary objective for that grip is just to train the chest. Okay, I, you know, and I feel that. Yeah. You actually, if you try that, you will actually feel that. It, it widens your chest. Okay. Okay, so then there's three grips. Yes. The narrow grip works your triceps. Yes. Uh, primarily. Yeah. And then the medium grip, which is the power grip, and that's the competition yes. grip, gives you the most power. Yes. And then a super wide grip actually kind of isolates the chest the most. And then what about uh, the types of training? Then you have different types of training. You can use dynamic with the full motion training like this. So it's a normal range of motion. Yeah. That's, the that's, same, that's the same you do for the competition. And that's the full motion, you know? Then you have something called static. Then you have to have a training partner or a coach, or somebody to help you. It allows you to train with heavier weight than you can move. Uh, one guy lift it out for you and you just hold it for a certain amount of seconds. And all your body will start to shake because it uses all the energy and all the power in your muscles. And you can only do it about every third or fourth week because it, it tears apart all the fibers. Then the static one is to destroy fibers that's the main objective. But with static, what you're really doing is you're just holding, holding on it. to the weight. And uh, in that process, while you're holding on to the weight, you're also balancing. Yes. So that's why you get all that shaking. There's another funny stuff about it when you're holding this weight. Uh, let's say uh, a girl like you, totally handsome girl like you, can hold about 150 pounds in your hands. You can do that. You have broad shoulders. More. Yeah, I know. 175, 175. Let's say 200, that's okay. a long number. 200 pounds, you can hold that. If we helped you and you hold, let's say, 250 in your hands, then next time you will uh, have 210 or 2 in your hands, they will feel light because all your, your nerve, nerve spots in your hands and your, your fibers, they got used to the 250. So you're tricking your, uh, the, the mind and the muscle memory because they now thought, Wow, 250 was heavy, but now when you come back to 2 or 210, that will feel feels light. And then when you do the full motion, you have, it's a piece of cake. It's a, a walk in the park, and you have achieved more than you will do by just doing dynamic training. Okay. Then there's the third way of doing training. That's the negative one, which is, again, another guy helping you with the weight. And then you hold it, and then you make the body descend to the chest. And it's not supposed to go like this, like a rock, no. It's supposed to take a certain amount of seconds. Let's say with my uh, length of arm, it will take about seven to eight seconds for, for me to descend the bar. And I will be doing about between 25 and 40% more than I can lift when I do this kind of training because you have the fibers like this and it will be like you're tearing them apart when you're doing this. So to recap, on the types of training, you have the dynamic, which is a full range of motion, sort of a normal speed. And this is what you use when you're doing the actual competitions. Yeah. And then we have the static, which you need assistance with, and that's really all about holding the weight and sort of getting your muscles and your body used to yeah. handling that kind of weight, just holding it. And then there's the negative training, which is about holding the weight and bringing it down in a more controlled, form of yeah. movement, and really they call that negatives because you're actually holding the weight back. You're destroying all the fibers on the And way. you're destroying all the fibers on the way down, 
So with the negative, and really all the training, what you're really doing is destroying muscle fibers. You're breaking muscle fibers down, and that's the process of making muscle grow. You're actually tearing it down, and the process of growth is a defense mechanism that the body has. It gets bigger, better, stronger. And that's why it's important to eat right, to get the right amount of rest, so that the body can prepare itself and repair itself properly. Right? Yeah, absolutely. So like a double bicep, yeah. and a single arm, and a most muscular. Yeah. Like that. Mm, okay. What else? Okay.